Waikiki Ga Khalsa, Waikiki Fateh. I'm here at the uh, Trafalgar Square March, the 30th commemoration of the 1984 genocide. I'm right in the middle of the thousands of people that are actually here today. I want to interview just a few people about why they're here and what their hopes are for tomorrow. Waikiki Ga Khalsa, Waikiki Fateh. Khalsa, Waikiki Fateh. Could you tell us your name and uh, why you, uh, you're here? Where have you come from? My name is Tajinder Singh. Uh, I'm from Derby. Um, the reason we're here is uh, to remember those fallen Shaheeds in 1984, uh, not just in uh, June, but also in uh, October, throughout from since October all the way to the present day. So that's what we, me, my whole family, and all my friends are here for. So it's 30 years, right, and we haven't seen a lot of progress in terms of justice. What, why do you think that is? Well, in terms of justice, it's going to be very difficult. Until we have a presence in the international community, I don't see us having a, a real strong presence in that sense. Because until we have our own country, until we have our own uh, politicians and our own speakers speaking for the fund, I don't think we will get justice in that sense. But at the same breath, I should say, we should never forget uh, of what's happened from 1947 to the present day either because if we do start to forget our history we have no future and that is the, the philosophy of myself, my children and hopefully their children as well. I, I appreciate that and I, I'd say that you know there are a lot of very professional people uh, in industry that happen to be Sikhs. If we take a leaf out of the Jewish community they're able to put forward their uh, heartache uh, and also pursue the perpetrators of the Jewish uh, genocide. Are, are we not able to do the same thing? What are the reasons why, do you think? No, absolutely. I mean, we should be taking a leaf out of the Jewish community's uh, book because even let's not forget that uh, it wasn't done in a day what the Jews had to go through. Uh, obviously, the, the atrocities that was uh, brought on them uh, lasted for decades until they got their own freedom and recognition of genocide and we are now following in the same footsteps like say in the 1984 there was a time when like the saying is we need to go up in arms but now this is in this present day arms isn't the solution it's dialogue we need professional clever people in those kind of um, streams to take this message forward for the Sikh people that not this is a time to now sit down around the table and see what is the best solution for the Sikhs. And for, and for the Sikhs, the only solution is to have their own state, their own country, their own kingdom. Why good you Khalsa? Thank you very much. I really appreciate that very much. So we'll we continue on with some more interviews further up uh, and try and get some views from people from all walks of life that are here to talk about why they're here and what solutions they've got for the future. Okay, I'm here right in the middle, like I said before, uh, and we've got a wonderful group of uh, people here. Young definition is uh, young. You're young, aren't you? Right? Whatever that means. Uh, and I was talking to them earlier on just for a few bits, uh, just to say why they're actually here and, and what dreams have they got for the future. So, why did you go Khalsa? Why did you go Fateh? We're from Southampton. And the main reason why we're here is um, to remember everyone that was lost um, in the 1984 attacks. And this is like the only way we can actually reunite everyone after everything that's been going on in India. This is the only way that people abroad can actually celebrate this day and bring together Sikhi. It's more of a commemoration of uh, what actually took place, uh, not necessarily in June, but also in November as well, right? Uh, so how do you know about this? Do your parents talk to you about it? Do you do reading? Um, basically, my dad's really into the history with um, Hermanda Saab and everything. So I found out from him and then at the Godwara they do speeches and there's Gurbani classes that uh, happen um, every Sunday. And so we go there and then we learn more about um, what happened in 1984 and other days and they simplify it for the younger kids as well. If you had a, a message that you wanted to give out, not necessarily to um, the people, you know, like your friends or people that live in the UK, but more internationally, what would you say in terms of a solution? What, what can we do to go forward to probably reveal the truth and also think about better ways for people to live with each other? I think main reason, well, the main way to actually, my, my main message would be to stay together as Keep, stay, keep the key, and because if you keep the key together, 
and you um, like stay, stay together as one community, that's the only way we can actually unreal, um, reveal the truth and move forward. Because otherwise, if we're like, arguing with each other, there's no way there's any, any you think we well, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. And uh, have a safe trip back. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we're standing in the middle of the uh, audience here. Thousands of people here from all parts of the UK. Um, got a very good opportunity to talk to the two wonderful gentlemen that have come from... Uh, well, tell us where you're from and uh, why are you actually here? Uh, Despite Singh from Coventry. We're here to support uh, the rally for the truth, freedom and justice. And we're here basically to tell the public, mainly, and the British government. And this question was asked of the Akali Dal, because if, if uh, BJ were to come, BJP were to come into power, would you give justice to the sick people? And they said, yeah, we would. Well, that's, that, this is their opportunity. They've got a, they've got a clear majority now. It's not as if there was a, is a hung parliament. They've got a clear majority now to do something for the Sikhs. If they don't, then it's obviously they were just lying, which they have been doing for the last 30 years. So they've got this ample opportunity to do something. And if, over the next four years, if they don't do anything, then we know we've got no friends in India. The Kali Dal is certainly not our friend. The BJP is not our friend. The Congress was never our friend in the first place. So. We've got this Ahmadi party who is a bit of a light of, light of uh, hope of light for all the six people. And it's, and it's, uh, it's clear that only the Punjab has voted them into power. And uh, I think they've got a message that they've got to have the Punjabis, they've got to have the six if they want any sort of foothold in the government. So I think our future really is with uh, trying to get hold of the Ahmadi party. But I've, no, I've got no hope of the BJP doing anything for the six. At all, really, I have to be honest. Okay. Well, we'll hopefully be optimistic. Um, where have you come from and um, why do you think it's important for you to be here today? Uh, my name is Manjeet Singh. I'm from Birmingham. I'm here today to remember my fallen brothers and sisters, my elders, the young ones who were murdered and massacred in 84. And that's why I'm here. And I'm very honored to be here. And I thank God for the freedom we enjoy to be able to remember them. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of people here today. Yeah. Um, their sentiments are kind of all around the fact that, you know, it was a bad thing that happened in terms of the way in which the Indian government kind of shot on its own people. You know, it, it shot them down. And there are situations where even in the Golden Temple, uh, the reference library was burnt down. There are artifacts that are missing. I mean, what opportunities had the new government got in India to maybe kind of apologize but as well as actually try to reveal the truth I'll be honest I am not conversed with any Indian polit politics but any new government has a obviously a new can turn a page and have an opportunity to start with an apology or a, at least an acknowledgement of a wrong okay so but we've got to be optimistic right we've always got to be optimistic we've always got to be in Jadnyakala for our gurus and our shaheed Singhs. Everybody, thank you so much, and uh, we'll um, have a safe trip back, yeah? Okay, right, I'm right in the middle here of the steps that lead back onto the uh, National Gallery, and I'm going to ask um, these ladies here, who are matching ching chun knees with uh, wonderful kandes on them, I want to ask this lady here, and ask her where she's from, and why she's here. Thank you. ਸਮੂਹ सारे संगत नू स्टेट होके रहना चाहिए था या एक चंद ढेर कट्टे होके चलना चाहिए था या तां कट्टे हम यहाँ दी कल कोई सुन्दा है क्या नहीं कि यूनिटी होनी चाहिए था यूनिटी होनी चाहिए था हाँ जी बाय कुछ खाल सर बाय कुछ ये पते ओके आई थॉट आई डू आस्क आई पास बाय कैजुअल पास बाय यू ऑन हॉलिडे आई डोंट you know, you see all these seats here, right? Are you getting a, a view of what's actually going on? Is it a clear bit of communication for you? Of course. I mean, I didn't really know about the, the massacre before it happened, but before I was born. But uh, now I kind of obviously it's got the message across, and it's um, yeah, yeah, it's very uh, gets the message across very clearly about what happened. So, kind of putting it across in English, in a straightforward language that everyone can understand. 
um, you get the gist of um, why so many people are upset about it and it's been 30 years of no justice. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, obviously it's happened 30 years ago, but um, obviously there's been almost no, um, no apology, no, uh, no admission about what happened. And uh, yeah, I can see why people are angry. Do you think um, communications are important in terms of whether it be a rally or, or video or the news press? Do you think that influences politicians or people with power to do something or do you think they just carry on making their own money? I think, I think they do. I mean, I've heard stories about people, um, uh, one member of parliament said if it's mentioned on the news so many times in one night, uh, they'll uh, uh, endeavour to bring it up in parliament. So I think it does make a difference, especially numbers like this. And obviously um, this is unignorable, really. Well, great. Thanks so much for your views. I really appreciate it. And, uh, um, you know, it's a fantastic day today as well in terms of sun and weather, but uh, not so fantastic in the, the context of, um, you know, 30 years of, uh, of pain. Mm. Oh, yeah, of course. Thank yeah, thanks. Thank you very much for that. The sun is intense. Uh, the patience with people is very good because they're sitting down and it's really getting hot. To the extent I've had to put some sunglasses on. So apologies for that. But uh, I've got this uh, wonderful chat here that we were talking to just a second ago. I wanted to ask you, why are you here and uh, wh where are you from? Firstly, Vaheguruji Kakao Sa, Vaheguruji Ki Fateh. My name's uh, Baljeet Singh Samra. I'm from uh, West London, Southall. Um, I'm here in remembrance of what happened in 94. Um, also to promote justice and freedom. And, but mainly to, in remembrance of the atrocities and the attacks that took place in 1984 and also raise awareness amongst the general public. Um, but I'm so proud, this is the first time I've seen our people gather in this many numbers, this big force, you know, for the first time outside of India and um, it's, it's amazing. Do you think it has an influence on uh, media, general media reporting, not necessarily Sikh media, but, you know, global media, you know, the BBC, CNN, people like that. Do you think they'll be able to take something away from them, uh, from this particular event, in terms of doing more investigations, or do you think it's just sensationalism? I believe they will. I believe they will. Um, I'm not sure who's here out of the media, different media companies, but um, I believe uh, through the right channels, um, we, we can raise awareness and promote freedom and justice of uh, what happened in 1984. Unfortunately, we had some bad coverage the other day and you know, that made all the headlines, but I don't know if that'll have any connection to this and will, you know, in terms of a good point of view, raise awareness through this. I suppose it's sad that the media are pretty quick to report, you know, sensationalism, quick news, you know, dodgy news, uh, but they don't tend to focus more on uh, heritage, stories, truth, you know, uh, perpetrators, they tend to kind of uh, leave them alone. Unfortunately, you know, in today's society that is the case, you know, if there's a hundred good things happening out there and one bad, they'll pick up on the bad point to promote um, or gain numbers in viewers, but what's happening today, I'm sure they will um, make note and um, through the right channels, like I said again, even if we get through a small percentage of people, in the long run it'll have a big impact. Just to say, I was also in Geneva, um, you know, in terms of getting the ball rolling for um, handing in a petition uh, regarding the genocide in, that took place in Delhi as well in uh, 1984. And, um, you know, it's, it was amazing to see people there. And that got very good coverage as well. Yeah, so there are uh, opportunities sometimes to do things through uh, law courts and uh, international um, uh, routes of justice. Well, thank you. It's really nice to talk to you, and uh, we'll um, see you again one day. Thank you. Well, maybe it's a good idea for them to uh, switch the fountains on here because it's getting really hot. Um, I'm with the Bakr Singh here. We're close to the stage on the side, um, and I wanted to quickly ask him why he's here and um, where he's from as well. But you see, Kyoto is not just a place. Why good you come, Khalsa? Why good you keep here? ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਸਿੱਖ ਚੈਨਲ ਵਾਲਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਮਹੀਨਾ ਔਰ ਪਿਛਲੀ ਵੀ ਕੇ ਕਬੱਡੀ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੀ ਵੀ ਕਬੱਡੀ ਦਿਖਾ ਲੈਣੀ ਆ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਮਿਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਹਫਤਾ ਔਰ ਇਦਾਂ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਲਿਆਂਦੇ ਔਰ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਦੱਸ ਵੀ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਵਾ ਔਰ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੀਆਂ ਜਥੇਬੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਬੇਨ
ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੈਸੇ ਤੇ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਕਰ ਲੈਨੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਟੈਲੀਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਪਹੁੰਚਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹ ਮਾਵਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਅੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਥਰੂ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਇਹ ਪੈਸੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਆ ਕੰਮ ਸੇ ਕੰਮ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਐਸ ਐਸ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰਾ ਖਿਆਲ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਕਈਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਵੀ ਆ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਚੀ ਤੇ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਟ ਵੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਮ ਸੇ ਕਮ ਐਟ ਲੀਸਟ 2 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਪੌਂਡ ਉਹੀ ਸਪੈਂਡ ਔਨ ਅ ਨਗਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਬਟ ਨਾਟ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਦੈਨ ਹੂ ਬੀਨ ਕਿਲਡ ਇਨ ਬੈਕ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਗੋ ਨੋ ਨੋ ਰੋਟੀ ਟੂ ਫੀਡ ਨੋ ਦੇ ਗੋ ਨੋ ਫੂਡ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਦਾ ਚਿਲਡਰਨ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਖਾਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਔਨ ਟੀਵੀ ਖਾਂਦੇ ਸੀ ਔਨ ਸਿਕਸ ਚੈਨਲ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਊ ਕੈਨ ਦ mother sleep everybody say we we one thing we keep saying asi ek gal hatte bahut jyada zor dinne ha ke guru ji di eh marzi si ki marzi si ohna maavan nu puch ke dekh oh kende aa punjabi ch kende hunde na maama rondiyan te daan te hath dhar ke jehna de putt kheed de mare oh kheed de putt mare ਉਹ ਅਮਰਤਾਰੀ ਮਰੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਯਾਰ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਮੈਂ ਅਮਰਤਾਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਸ਼ਰਾਬ ਵੀ ਪੀ ਲੈਣਾ ਮੀਟ ਵੀ ਖਾਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੰਮ ਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਦੁੱਖ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਦੁੱਖ ਤੇ ਅਮਰਤਾਰੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਮ ਸੇ ਕਮ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਰੇਕ ਅਮਰਤਾਰੀ ਸਵੇਰ ਨੂੰ ਉੱਠ ਕੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੁਣੀ ਜਾਣੀ ਅਮਰਤਾਰੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਸੁਣੀ ਜਾਣੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਹੁਣ ਗੁਰੂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿਣ ਕਿ ਕਲਗੀਆਂ ਆ ਲਿਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਰ ਗਏ ਅਸੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸ਼ਹੀਦੀਆਂ ਦਿੱਤੀਆਂ ਹੁਣ ਬੋੜ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਕਸੇ ਦੇ ਕਿ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਿੱਧ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਨੇ ਕਿ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਨਾ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਪਰ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਹਰੇਕ ਸਿੱਖ ਨੂੰ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਕਲਗੀਆਂ ਵਾਲੇ ਦੇ ਮੋਹਰੇ ਹੱਥ ਜੋੜ ਕੇ ਵੀ ਹੁਣ ਬੋੜ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਮਰ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਲੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਹੀਦੀਆਂ ਪਾ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਉਹ ਪਾਈਆਂ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹੀ ਆ ਟੈਲੀਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਹਫਤਾ ਸੈਕਸ ਚੈਨਲ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਮਾਵਾਂ ਆਉਂਦੀਆਂ ਔਰ ਕਈ ਵਾਰੀ ਆਪਾਂ ਐਡਵਰਟਾਈਜ਼ਮੈਂਟ ਗਲਤ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਸ਼ਹੀਦ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਮਾਵਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇੰਨਾ ਦੁੱਖ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਅੱਖਾਂ 'ਚ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਕਰੋ ਉਹ ਤੂੰ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੌਖਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਖੁਦ ਆਪਣ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੀ ਪਰ ਅੱਜ ਤੋਂ 25 ਸਾਲ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਖਾਲਸਤਾਨੀ ਕਈ ਕੋ ਸੀ ਖਾਉਂਦਾ ਸੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਕੁਝ ਖਾਉਂਦਾ ਸੀ ਇੱਕ ਬੰਦੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੇਰੀ ਵਹਿਸ ਹੋ ਪਈ ਉਹਦੇ ਕੁਜਰਤੀ ਹੋ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਚ ਆਏ ਸੀ ਵਿਆਹ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਕੱਠੇ ਸੀ ਉਹਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਬਾਲ ਜਾਏ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਭਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਕੋਈ ਮਰਿਆ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਦੋ ਪੁੱਤ ਮਰੇ ਔਰ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਮਰਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਾ ਮਨੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੁੱਖ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਵੀ ਸਲੀਪਲੈਸ ਨਾਈਸ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਹੁਣ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਉਹ ਪੈਸਾ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਇਦਾਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਮਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੋ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਰੋਂਦੀਆਂ ਫਿਰਦੀਆਂ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਕੁ ਸ਼ਹੀਦ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਹੁਣ ਕਿ ਲੱਖ ਸ਼ਹੀਦ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਲੈ ਮੈਂ ਗਰੰਟੀ ਨਾਲ ਦਿੰਨਾ ਖਾਲਸਤਾਨ ਬਣ ਸਕਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਅਮਰਤਾਰੀਆਂ ਦੀਆਂ ਬੇਟੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਪੜਾ ਦਿਓ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਐਮ ਐ ਬੀ ਏ ਕਰਾ ਦਿਓ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਬਣਾ ਦਿਓ ਖਾਲਸਤਾਨ ਬਣ ਗਿਆ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਆਪੇ ਖਾਲਸਤਾਨ ਬਣ ਗਿਆ ਖਾਲਸਤਾਨ ਭੁੱਖਣਾ ਬਣਨਾ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਰੋਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਤਰਸਦੇ ਫਿਰਦੇ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪੜਾ ਦਿਓ ਬੇਟੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਖਾਲਸਤਾਨ ਬਣ ਗਿਆ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਈ ਗੈਟ ਵੈਲ ਆਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਦ ਮੈਸੇਜ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਦੈਟ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਮੋਸਟ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਆਊਟ ਐਂਡ ਇਫ
I hope the British government looks at this today and this is kind of hit hard towards all the Sikhs brothers and sisters throughout the whole of the world and we turn and try to fight justice and remember 984 as much as possible and never forget it. Thank you for that, appreciate it. Um, so tell us, your, um, your parents told you about uh, this particular event, right? And do you feel the same way? Do you think it's really important? And why? Um, because, um, because the people that have died, we feel, so, we feel sorry for them and we hope that everyone hears this to make sure that they can feel sorry for them as well. Do you think it's important to come to marches like this where thousands of people come together? Do you think the, the world's media wakes up and actually hears the truth? Yeah, a lot. What, what more do you think we could do? Thank you, by the way. We want, we want everyone to know about Sikhi, like obviously not, not a lot of people know, so we want everyone to get involved and everything. It's like, so it's, I want, you feel proud to be a Sikh, I feel proud to be a Sikh. And, and the wonderful thing about being a Sikh is that it's about seva, it's about helping other people, it's about defending the defenseless. You know, you look at organisations like, you know, Casa Aid or SWAT or Sikh Aid or SACO and people like that, they do things in the community. Are you motivated to do more in your own personal community to help kind of, you know, exercise your Sikh values? Yeah, we want to do a lot for our Sikh community. Do you think that's one way for people to know more about who we are and what we do for other people? Yeah, it is a lot. What, what kind of things happen in Preston? Are there uh, particular things that Sikh community get involved in? Um, we did a good keep in there. We had a first a first since I can't remember. Oh, really? Okay, right. And yeah, we just do a lot for the Gurdwara. Hopefully, the Gurdwara get together, and we could do this more and more every year, and try to do this uh, throughout the whole of the world. And hopefully, everybody could listen to this, and it's, uh, it goes throughout the world, especially to the UK government. Absolutely. So your little one's here. He hasn't actually said anything. Hello, how are you doing? Bye, good Jika Kalsa. Bye, good Jika Kalsa. Bye, good Jika Kalsa. So are you very tired after the journey? Are you, uh, yeah. are you, are you going to sleep on the way back? Yeah. Uh, and you think it was really amazing to see all these people here, lots of Sikhs together? How does that make you feel? Happy. Happy that there's so many people that come together, yeah? Okay, brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Singh family. Really appreciate it very much. Sorry, you were going to say something. That when we get together, then I hope that, it's, that we have a really good time and we enjoy and remember the people in 1984. Well, in, in the context that it's a, mem it's a remembrance, isn't it, really? You know, it's a commemoration uh, about what happened and no one should really forget at all about the sacrifices. Okay, well, thanks very much indeed. Uh, so we'll um, maybe come back with some more interviews and uh, we thank you for your time so far. Okay, I'm with Avtar Kaur Atwal and uh, we were just talking earlier on about uh, the fact that she's been here and uh, she's been here for a while. <laughs> right. 59, I first arrived. You look, you look so young though. You know? oh, thank you very much. <laughs> um, this is my regular uh, visit every year whenever I can and whenever I'm in the country. Uh, I usually come. Um, I think we've raised awareness. I think we've done a very good job of raising awareness. And I think the whole world knows what our aim is. Now we've got a, a structure there. We've got a platform there. We need our leaders to move forward. And by moving forward, I think we can get something constructive out of this. Um, it, can I just interrupt you for a second? Uh, when, we, when you talk about leaders, do you mean leaders in the United Kingdom or leaders internationally or leaders in the Sikh community or leaders in the Indian government? What, what do you mean by that? Leaders in the um, overseas leaders, our religious leaders, have a very good, uh, um, how can I say, uh, a very good response in India. They look up to us. They cherish our views. Sorry. They, ch they cherish our views, um, they look at them. But I think we're spending some money where we can actually have some constructive uh, advice to give it to the Indian people. Number one, we don't know how many people have actually lost their lives. We need a survey. We need to find out exactly how many people. I've been in villages. 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 We don't know. 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 We need a survey. And I think voluntary organizations, religious people, I think we can do something. We can do something constructive. And, and we have got a very, very good platform now. And today's turnout is 
is a is a and, and God has been very good to us. Most of them are and my whole Chaya and everything. Uh, despite what happened a few days ago, I just come back from India three weeks ago, and I was in Darbar Sahib. Um, Darbar Sahib is coming up to terms with things, but I don't think we have. Darbar Sahib may have come to terms with what happened 30 years ago. But I don't think we have. I don't think it's ever going to be a situation where uh, any Sikh can come to terms with the negativity of that time. Um, the fact that there was a news blackout, the fact that there was a sacrilege uh, about our particular uh, reference library and our artifacts and the amount of devastation that was caused, not necessarily in uh, June, but also following on November as well. But we, you know, the, the demand for justice year on year, and this is the 30th year, is it falling on deaf ears? I, I was there in 1985. I took my three children there, and my children were quite, quite, um, was, uh, how can I put it, disturbed by what we saw. We saw the bullet. We saw everything. Uh, we saw the destruction. And they have difficulty coming into rallies like this because it affected them. Uh, but at the same time, I think youth like that needs to understand because I was very fortunate. I took my children and they're aware of what exactly happened. But we need documentation. We need it in papers. We need to know exactly what happened, how many of us were lost. And I think that's our main name. I, that's what I like to get across. If we can have a survey to see exactly how many people we actually lost. Because there must be many, many, many than what we know. I think that's a really fantastic idea. I think it's something that we should champion. Uh, we should get independent agencies to do it for us. Um, we also need to make sure that uh, when it's printed and analysis that's done, it's put forward and released out to the media. It's, 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 it would help. It would help to come and, and, and something to move forward. We've got so many people missing. Where are these people? What happened to these people? We need to give answers. The other thing I'm worried about is that when I go into uh, uh, Pindan, the and villages, I find that the elderly people are now are becoming elderly. They they are not remembering things, and they come to yeah. My father is gone. My brother is gone. My father is gone. I don't know where he is gone. And I think we owe it to them. We owe it to ask them because we have not got documented evidence, and these are the people with the documentary evidence in their heads, and we need to get into that. We need to get it into their head, find out what happened, and put it on paper, and it must be documented. And we should do it sooner rather than later, um, as um, we just realized now, uh, another superb uh, suggestion, which is time's running out, because uh, some of those people that remember will not be here, sadly. They won't be here. Yes, they won't be here, and it'll be too late. And I'm worried about that. I'm very, very worried about that. I didn't want to come today, and my health was a little bit there, but I wanted to come today, and I wanted to talk to people and tell, them, tell people that I've talked to elderly people, and their health is failing them. And then we need to get volunteers out there. We need to get sevadars out there. Even the sarpanch, the sealdar, whoever does the surveys in India, um, they, they could help. I'm sure they could help. I really appreciate uh, your suggestions. Thank you, Mr. Kalsa. Why could you give it? Okay, we're uh, with a group here that have come down from a coach. They'll tell us a little bit about where they're from uh, and why they're here. Why I think it's so important. Um, let's get across to the youngest person here. I think you're the youngest. Well, you might be the youngest, actually, but um, in uh, in mind as well. But tell us, uh, where are you from and uh, why are you here? Uh, we're from Hayes. Hayes. And um, we're here for justice in 1984. How do you know about 1984? Because um, my parents have been teaching me about the what happened in 1984. So you know that it's 30 years since those fateful days, um, and why do you think it's important to come here uh, and remind people about what happened and commemorate the actual event? So we can get justice and um, so we can get justice and so we know and um, get answers of the question. I think it's a very good point about answers about so many questions that there are. So um, good to uh, see you. Tell us uh, a little bit about where you're from. I think you're um, nearby as well, aren't you? I'm from St. Albans. And I travelled from South or Park Avenue this morning on the coach. Um, I thought it was very important. 30 years. I was 17 years old. 
when the genocide took place. And for me, um, it was a bullet through my heart when they attacked the Harmandha Sahib. That our fifth Guru, Guru uh, fifth Nanak, Guru Arjun Dev Ji, had, had built. Um, and it was um, an attack just not on our holy shrine, but actually an attack on the Sikh Qom. Um, and I'm here today to remember, commemorate, um, to find answers, try to unite with every other Sikh that can be here to make the governments um, aware that this is an issue that's been ongoing for 30 years. We still haven't solved anything. Um, we need to find justice for what, took, what happened, what took place. So, you know, you mentioned uh, it was Guru Arjun uh, Dev Ji's uh, uh, martyrdom that day. There are many innocent people there in terms of like people who had just gone in to do Matatek and commemorate that event, you know, and they were left in rooms uh, and they were, you know, the whole attack was vicious, not necessarily just to the building, but to individuals as well. You know, I mean, I remember seeing some of the footage and the, the you know, even though the water was all pink and, you know, you see some of the photographs, it's a really sad time, right? It was a sad time, and the saddest time is, is that it was our fourth Holocaust um, in the Sikh, um, you know, in Sikh history. Um, and it's a recent event, which is even worse, um, when you are supposed to have a democratic society, freedom of speech, etc., etc. And it was just horrific how it, was, uh, it all took place. The worst thing is, is that how it was reported was a very biased view. And I didn't know anything at that time. But as I have grown up and studied and looked into it, I have realized what actually the truth is. You mentioned bias. Do you mean bias in media or just bias in terms of what certain people have in terms of their viewpoint? I think uh, an element of everything, actually. I think it was a bias in how it was reported back to us here in the UK, um, what was reported, what was omitted, were the facts, all the facts given. It was said only a few hundred Sikhs were killed. But in fact, we know there were thousands and thousands of Sikhs who actually were martyred, you know, who gave up their faith for who they were. And I think it's a very good point because actually on that day it wasn't just the Golden Temple that was uh, invaded. There were Gurdwaras everywhere in uh, Punjab that were attacked at the same time. Uh, so uh, on a solemn day, you know, we we need to kind of come together and uh, and really communicate the truth, right? Yes, I think we do, and I think this has been a great turnout. A lot of Sikhs have come from all over the country, and it's and it's 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 about time we all stand together, unite, and um, like. Um, uh, Baji was saying from Basics of Sikhi um, that we create our Khalsa. That's what we are, that's what, who we were, that's what Guru Gobind Singh Ji attended uh, and expected for us to be. You know, uh, people talk about, you know, solutions and stuff in terms of uh, ideas. Um, I've heard things like, you know, Sikhs are humanitarians, so that needs to come out in the news more. There needs to be better education. There needs to be more documentaries. There needs to be surveys. Uh, do you agree with, is that a good path to follow in terms of revealing the truth and then uh, people not hiding from it? I think so. I think, um, I think it's also, it's, 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 I, 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 I find sometimes Sikhs as a, as a, are not really represented in the news. Um, if you have other faiths who are having um, a celebration or if they're having a march in, on a, such an important occasion, I think a lot of the times it will be across the, you know, the, all the news channels. We got a snippet of it on BBC News this morning at 6.30 and that was it. So I think it's education, it's educating the youngsters where they are, who they, who the, where they come from you know what happened because it is for, 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 for somebody my age it's very fresh and it's like you haven't healed because justice hasn't been done it's kind of it's, it's like a it's a, an ember inside I think inside of all of us my generation and the older generations of exactly what took place and it's what can you do we do you know we, 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 we protest here we march and you know but it's very difficult I think to do that in India you know, I've met a few Indians who, you know, Sikhs from India who say, what is it with um, you British Sikhs? You know, you are the ones who are actually coming out marching, but we don't do anything there. You, you are more pro sort of, you know, um, and wanting to find out answers. But I think, I think uh, with us, it's we have, you know, we're in a de democratic society and we have the freedom of speech. We have the freedom to do all this. I suppose in India, it's quite difficult. It is difficult. And it's very great that you came out today to support the cause. Thank you, Ji. Baji, Tola, thank you. 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 Thank you.
ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿ ਫਤਿਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਏ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਿਰਫ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜਾਸਤੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਇਨਸਾਨੀਅਤ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਬੇਇੱਜ਼ਤੀ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਅਗਰ ਸਿੱਖਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਛੋੜ ਕੇ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਤਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਇੱਥੇ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਕਰ ਦੇਣਾ ਚਾਹਨਾ ਕਿ 30 ਸਾਲ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਮਾਵਾਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੀ ਭੈਣਾਂ ਵਿਚਾਰੀਆਂ ਵਿਧਵਾਵਾ ਹੋ ਗਈਆਂ ਔਰ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਬੇਰਹਿਮੀ ਨਾਲ ਇਹ ਕੰਮ ਹੋਇਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਦਿਨ ਤੱਕ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਇਆ ਚਾਹੇ ਉਹ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਗੱਲ ਹੋਰ ਕਹਿ ਦਵਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲੀ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਜੱਜ ਹੈਗੇ 30 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਹੀ ਉਮਰ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਡੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਔਰ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਹਰ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਹਰ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਨੇ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਇਹ ਹਾਸਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਸਬੂਤ ਦੇਣ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਜ਼ੁਲਮ ਹੋਇਆ ਮੈਂ ਜਾਣਨਾ ਚਾਹਨਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਾਦਸਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਿਆ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੋਰ ਕੰਟਰੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਅੰਬੈਸਡਰ ਸਨ ਉਹ ਸੁੱਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਨ ਉਹ ਜਾਗਦੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਟੀਵੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਸਨ ਕਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਕਿਆ ਯੂਕੇ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਨੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਇਰਾਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਗਰ ਜਰਾ ਜੀ ਗੜਬੜ ਹੋਈ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੇਖ ਲਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਹਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਹਥਿਆਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਐਟਮ ਬੰਬ ਹੈਗਾ ਤਾਂ ਫਲਾਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਤਾਂ ਡਿਮਕਾਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਤੇ ਕਿਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਨੀ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਤੇ ਚਾਹਨਾ ਕਿ ਇਨਸਾਨੀਅਤ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਕਿਧਰ ਗਿਆ ਉਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੁਝ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਦੇ ਦਿਓ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਦੇ ਦਿਓ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿਣ ਦਾ ਮੌਕਾ ਤੇ ਦਿਓ ਅਗਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਤਾਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਤੇ ਸੁਣੋ ਬਸ ਜੋ ਕੁਝ ਬੁਲਚਕ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਖਿਮਾ ਜਾ ਚੱਕਾ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਜੀ ਵਾਹ ਯੂ ਗਾ ਖਾਸਾ ਵਾਹ ਯੂ ਫਤਿਹ ਆਮ ਓਨਰ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਵਿਦ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਪਰਮਿੰਦਰ ਗਾਚਾ ਹੈ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫੋਰ ਗਿਵਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਯੋਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂਡੇ ਫੋਰ ਅ ਕੁਇਕ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ ਯੂ ਅ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਆਮ ਨਾਟ ਸ਼ੂਰ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਗਾਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਟ 30 ਇਅਰਸ ਵੀ ਕੀਪ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਬੈਕ ਗੇਨ ਐਂਡ ਅਗੇਨ ਐਂਡ ਆਰ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਵੀ ਮੂਵਿੰਗ ਫੋਰਵਰਡ ਐਜ਼ ਅ ਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਹ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਵੀ ਗੋਟ ਟੂ ਕੀਪ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਬੈਕ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਨਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਿਆਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਮੋਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਪਲੀਜ਼ਸ ਮੀ ਸੋ ਮਚ is look at the number of youngsters who are here this time for the first time on my many visits here I, the number of youngsters is quite amazing i mean you can see that i think when you've been here before and look the message is again one of simplicity of remembrance asking for truth asking for justice asking to make sure that in a calm a nation can be within ourselves in a sense that wherever we are the sikh calm is together our Sikhs are together wherever we are worldwide and this is whenever there is hardship whenever there is pressure put upon us whenever there is saying that we are going to have genocide we are still going to rise up so that's what the blessings that we have guruji has given us and that's the blessings we're sharing here today we're sharing that as you can you repeat here baba pachia ne how many times do we have to keep asking and asking and asking for justice should we not be coming forward with suggestions i mean uh, from the range of interviews that i've had with so what i mean wonderful people that i've met today some of them are suggesting that we have surveys we have better education uh, we get involved more in the media what's your view on all that have we not been trying to do that for the last 30 years what it is we have to show uh, realize that a lot of those efforts who however well meaning haven't succeeded as much as we want so therefore a seek doesn't give up so i think all the plural plural plurality or plurality or whatever you say sorry we have to use many methods education is one but if you look at the youngsters with a lot of them are professionals a lot of them are taking the issue forward in what you might call a professional way in a way of getting other people together and i think the biggest challenge we have is getting the message across to our other communities to our fellow brothers and sisters not only in this country but also in the countries worldwide and do you think there's a role for the gurdwaras to do something there to be uh, providing
who very much kind of deal with uh, getting uh, either this month or, you know, getting some contributions. But do you think it's important for the Gurdwaras to, to do that as well? And the reason why I ask that is because if we as Sikhs are seen as humanitarians because it's in our DNA, because it's in our blood to help other people, to defend the defenseless, is there a role for the Gurdwaras to help kind of uh, contribute to those vital funds for them to do work out across the world? Of course. I mean, I, I don't see any shortage of that since Singh Sabha has done that in many years. But what Singh Sabha is also looking at is to say that within the local community, we must make sure that we build sustainable organizations to make sure that we can actually carry on and do that in a really professional way. Now, recently, because of the economic crisis, there have been food banks springing up. But what I say to people is say, look, the Guruji has blessed us with this wonderful concept of langar, and Singh Sabha in Southall is sort of giving a week to up to 20,000 meals. Now those people who come to the Gurdwara are not just of Sikh faith, they're of many faiths and many social classes, and they're having those meals. So when people come and ask me about food banks, I say, no, we have Guru Ka langar, that's what's there. Yes, we need to do actually more in terms of working collaboratively with other groups and other um, organizations. Yes, we're doing that. In the Male Girl project we have, this is what we're doing. We're working with local voluntary organizations, local health organizations, to actually deliver just that. But yes, we need to do it in a much more progressive and coordinated manner. So when we come to these events, the so final question, um, you know, 30 years on, you know, in another 30 years' time, do you, are you optimistic about what will happen? Yes. I'm absolutely optimistic. I'll tell you why. Every time we do Ardas, we say, Agya Paya Kalaki. It's through the Guru's blessing. Okay? The Panth will go forward. Yeah? And Sikhanu Hukam here, it is our ordained duty to, main, to recognize the Guru Granth, the Shabad Guru, the word of the Guru, as our Guru. And from that springs our love and righteousness and sharing. Naam japna, vand japna, kirt karni, and hard, honest labor. And that's what we're doing our das every day. And that's what we want to share with everybody. Well, Dr. Kacha, thanks very much for your time. Well, you know, the uh, fountains are out, and uh, that means the place is cooling the down a bit. Out. And the sun is out as well. And uh, we've had a most uh, tremendous day in terms of the amount of support that we've had from all uh, up and down the country people that have come down in coaches. I know Gurdwaras have put on coaches. Um, my dad was telling me this morning that I think he knows one Gurdwara that put on eight coaches to come down to central London. We wish everyone a safe trip back and uh, we hope this message of truth and understanding goes out and we are here to remind people about the losses of that time but we're optimistic as you said Dr. Karcher for the future. Why could you guys? Why could you give out there?